I'd use a, a too long of a thing purposely and then use a spacer once this goes in between like this and it has it covers about to there then I use a 28 it's a 28 millimeter right there and then it'll go all the way through the bottom and there's not enough thread so then I use an 18 millimeter at the bottom and then the nut after that so yep so I'll show you what I do but you are still gonna need these pieces and the bottom will fell out so I still got to get that that piece that's that bottom piece out of there you still need those and we'll go from there all right so the piece that I was talking about are these little things that make it to where you can rotate on the top and one on the bottom they already are on there on your stock version so this one wants to go on the bottom but hopefully it'll stay in long enough this and this already has the brake set up too in the front that it goes through I don't want it to drop through that hole and go from there so I used an 18 if you got a nine I, I, I'd say a, a 19 millimeter would be the would be the perfect size 18 or 19 millimeter maybe get two and see which one's best Real quick let me just explain this real quick so I've been having trouble with the brake adapter um, so my pit bike brakes are the same lineup the 51 millimeter up here but uh, he, he has it to where you need to run like I think like 190 or 200 millimeter or something like that uh, rotors so uh, and I I really don't want to go looking for rotors this is a uh, uh, electron co wheel so what I did since I kept striking out is I just cut mine like that almost to the end he's got an end on it or a Z cut it down there and then just measured 51 millimeters like that so that's what I did with my adapter uh, my spacers um, the one in between here and the brake adapter I just used a little baby one um, Let's see what it is and i've explained everything that i'm going to be doing this is just a five millimeter that i use and then the, it'll be the brake adapter then it'll be this spacer that i use which is 15. like that and then the wheel will go on <clears throat> and then this then i'll use this one on the other side and that's a 25. So just to give you an idea and you know, could could change and might stay the same, I don't know, but as of right now, that's what uh, the brake was gonna line up with. And let's just uh, go from there. I did have to get uh, my screws in order to make this all fit. The uh, screw heads had to be flatter. They were too, uh, they were too high. And what else, man? As of right now, uh, oh, I think I'm gonna have to either get a flatter head for this one, for this bolt, I already had to do it with this one over here. I had to do it on that one for when the chain goes on. And then I think this one, and I really don't want to cut it, but we'll see. We'll see if it's going to fit or if I got to shave it down or if I got to just get find a new head. That's it for now. All right. So washer in here. This 
Once we put that brake on, then that'll screw in. You can see that slot right here. It'll screw in to one of those holes there, or both. I don't know. We'll see. Thank you. 